welcome to World Ocean Week. Today we are featuring our sea lions, so we're here today with Assistant Curator of Carnivores, Kelly Wallowitz. So I know we have four California sea lions at our zoo. Can you tell us a little bit about them? We do. So our oldest sea lion is Lily. Um, she's about 12 years old, and the reason I say about is because she was actually a rescue sea lion from a rehab center in California. Um, she unfortunately was injured, and while she was there, they realized that she wouldn't be able to sustain uh, long swims, so or able to go get her own fish, so therefore she came to us. Um, and then we have her son, Bob. He is going to be four years old in June. Um, he was born here. And then we have two females, Mary Lou and Daly, that came to us from SeaWorld Orlando, and they will be five in July. And how much do each of our sea lions weigh? So we weigh our sea lions weekly, and I don't know off the top of my head, but we have a fancy board over here that'll tell me. So we have um, Lily weighing in at 225, um, we have Bob at 235 and Mary Lou and Daly at 159 and 161 respectively. So sea lions are carnivores, right? And they eat a whole lot of fish. Can you tell me what types of fish they eat and how much they eat every day? They do. So in nature, California sea lions are very opportunistic. So whatever they can get their hands on, they're going to eat. So herring, mackerel, squid, sardines, anything. They'll even steal from fisher, fishermen's nets, um, which can be a problem. But here at the zoo, they have a very balanced diet that is developed from our vet staff. Um, it's based on moisture and um, fat content. Um, California sea lions don't generally drink a lot of water, um, like from the ocean or from the freshwater pool that they're in. So they need to get their moisture or their water from the fish. So we give them capelin, which has quite a bit of moisture and it's lower um, fat content. And then we also have some fattier fish, like the mackerel and the herring. And then we also supplement with some squid. And that diet will change depend on, depending on the weather, um, their behavior. In the winter, they get more mackerel, and they won't get the squid. And in the summer, they get squid and not the mackerel. So is this the same types of fish, the same amounts of fish that sea lions would eat out in nature? So in nature, California sea lions are going to eat between 5% and 8% of their body weight daily. Um, here at the zoo, we can weigh them every day. We can make sure that they're getting the proper food. So generally, they are getting the same thing, mackerel, herring, and the squid. But we do add capelin as well, again, for the moisture content. And um, our vet staffs have looked at everything, um, you know, seeing what's proper for them and to keep them growing or if we need to maintain weight. So it really depends on what they feel they need at this time. And the other thing is the fish that we get in is frozen and then we thaw it safely. So then we also add vitamins and minerals to their fish so that we can um, supplement what is lost in that process. So this is a whole lot of fish here at our zoo. How much fish per year do all of our carnivores eat? So all of our carnivores or all of our fish eaters in the zoo last year, I had to order 31,000 pounds of fish to cover our diets. Wow, that's a lot. And our sea lions alone eat 54 pounds a day. So that just gives you a generalization. So Kelly, you said that two-thirds of their diet is based on capelin. How much capelin do you get in per order? We get about 3,000 pounds, and that's about every month to month and a half, depending on what the animals are eating. Sometimes our penguins are eating a lot, it's during molt, and we need to order more for them. And then other times we can get a buy with a little bit less. And is capelin something that's easy to order? So capelin right now is, but there's going to be, and all of the zoos in the world are kind of worried about this right now, a shortage in capelin. Unfortunately, some of our fish are being used in restaurants um, and overfished. So one of the main problems I'm having ordering right now is trout. Um, trout is farm raised, but unfortunately all of these restaurants are scooping up the golden trout and the rainbow trout, especially the small ones, and I can't get them for our animals. Now, overfishing is a really big problem with not only animals here at zoos, but their wild counterparts out in nature, too. So there's a really easy way for everybody at home to help protect our sea lions, too, and that is by making sure that the seafood that you buy is sustainable. So sustainable seafood means that that seafood is not being overfished out in nature. We're not taking it away from the animals who need it. And it's being fished in a sustainable manner that's not harming the ecosystem as well. So at Seneca Park Zoo, we do partner with the Monterey Bay Aquarium. They have a seafood watch program, which is really easy to use. It's an app you can download on your phone, and you can use it when you're shopping or when you're planning to shop to just look to see what type of seafood you're planning to buy, where it comes from, and how it's fished. And it will tell you if it's sustainable or if it's not sustainable. And if it's not, it'll give you better options too. So it's a really easy way for you to take a step to help protect our sea lions and all other animals and marine ecosystems as well. All right, Kelly, thank you so much for giving us a little behind the scenes look into what it takes to take care of our sea lions today. We appreciate it. Of course. Thanks
Thanks for stopping down. Thanks. Happy Ocean Week.